So this is going to be my next Gaslands build. This is going to be a kind of a special build. This is a Rodent Frocker DR1 World War One German plane. Um, this is supposed to be the Red Baron. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not an expert in World War One or World War One planes, but I searched for Red Baron and it kept coming up as this was the plane he flew. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is just the cheapest kit I could get of whatever this plane, the uh, the Frocker DR1. Um, so I'm probably wrong, but the idea is I'm going to use this to build the Wacky Races Red Baron in a post-apocalyptic fashion. Um, this was inspired because I saw a couple of um, there was an artist who did a, a bunch of Wacky Races vehicles, uh, did the Wacky Races vehicles as if they'd appeared in Fury Road. And then quite recently I've just read the DC Comics um, Wacky Wastelands Races, I think it was called, or something. Um, it was a comic book basically making a Mad Max version of Wacky Races. If you were too young to uh, see Wacky Races, you should check it out. I've already built the plane. I was going to record the building of the plane, but the instructions were a bit finicky and some of the parts weren't numbered. And In the end, I, just, I did try and record it, but it just became a bit hard to try and record and keep it in focus while I'm building it and trying to figure out how to build this plane so I kind of just give up and just decide to build the plane so I'll jump ahead and you'll see the plane uh, unfortunately whilst I was building it I broke this piece and I had to replace it with a piece of styrene I think this is supposed to be made out of woody struts but I think I'll just make it look like this piece has been obviously added later on um, the initial idea was to cut the wings down, but after I've actually built the plane, I've decided I'm probably going to keep the wings at the full length. Because if you remember the uh, Red Baron from Wacky Races, he has the wings shortened and they're actually at the back. But my idea is to kind of make this a complete plane, probably lower the wheels and give it four wheels. Something like make it sit like that sort of thing. Um, and I was going to cut the wings down, but I kind of like the idea of keeping the wings on. Not too sure I'm going to do the propeller because obviously it's glued in place and it doesn't spin. I might cut it down, I might just remove it completely and add something else. I like the idea of maybe putting some kind of spinning weapon at the front. I've kept the original machine guns but I do, do want to add more weapons. So the main inspiration for this build was this little pilot here. who is the gyrocopter from Mad Max Road Warrior 2. Um, this came from the Green Miniatures movie pack. Which has a lot of figures from the Mad Max Road Warrior film. You have... Lord Humongous, the Gyrocopter, Mad Max himself, um, Wes, the Warrior Woman, for some reason a female version of Mad Max, um, which is weird because there was plenty of female raiders that they could have picked, because it's like two bad guys, four good guys, is the layout, and it would have made sense if three, three or three, but you know, I didn't make them, but they're quite detailed figures, and they look really good, as you can see he's got his snake, so the initial idea was to obviously build a gyrocopter for him, but um, then this whole idea with the Red Baron, and I just thought this would make a much better build with him piloting this Red Baron contraption. So obviously he was going to sit in there. He didn't fit with the original cockpit and seat and all that. Um, obviously I have to put the back piece in. So I've added some bits to the Red Baron now, um, built this whole chassis assembly and wheels. Initially I was going to use the front landing gear and then add some rear wheels um, but in the end I decided to go for a whole chassis and suspension system all custom made up out of styrene and then use some uh, copper wire to make the suspension struts um, The rear wheels are from Zing Industries The front wheels are from Chemsol Designs um, I did some rocket pods which are from Ramshackle Games. Um, it's still got its original two Vicar machine guns at the front. Uh, I took the two machine guns that came with the... So I took the machine guns from the 172 German World War II motorcycle and put them on the roof just for extra firepower. Initially I did kind of want to make some custom machine guns but... Um, kind of give up on that idea because of obviously the propellers and such. Um, if you don't know... These kind of planes, the machine guns were synced, so when the propeller came round, they wouldn't shoot through their own propeller. Um, but in a post-apocalyptic setting, I don't think that would be achievable, so I've just kind of hence mounted these ones up here and these weapons here, out of the way of the propeller. 
Um, although I have also built a fake drive line. Oops, that goes the back up to the engine. The back's not attached yet. Um, got an auto kill turret which does kind of rotate. It's a bit stiff, so that will take the back. So I built some custom exhausts to come out stick out the engine. Um, I just got a bit of cleanup work here and there and just to paint it, but I do think I'm going to add maybe one or two other things, I'm not too sure yet. Also got an auto kill thrust at the back, just to give this a bit more power. If you remember Wacky Races or you've seen Wacky Races, the Red Baron in that can fly for a brief period and I kind of like the idea of maybe having this having the ability to briefly fly. I don't know how I'm going to animate that if I ever use, it in a, use that feature in an animation. Um, I also want to stiffen up the propeller because this is just loose at the moment. So I kind of want to make it so I can animate it so when it's driving along the propeller will be animated spinning. Um, and that's about it. So we are with the finished result of the Red Baron. As usual there will be a nice slideshow at the end with some better images. But I'm just going to walk you through some of the changes since the last time you've seen it. So we'll start off with the damage. We've got some bullet holes in the wing here. And then obviously a makeshift repair job. Now the idea is I painted these holes white. Because um, these biplanes used to be made out of a wooden frame with some fabric stretched over them. So the idea is this is fabric. I'm not entirely sure of the effect looks as well um, but you know I tried we've also got the modified exhaust system to come out the sides to kind of make it a bit better um, so the exhaust would just come out the bottom uh, but I just kind of like the exhaust we've got the wing here which is obviously being ripped off at some point which has been hastily repaired with materials that have been available um, kind of wanted to show some of the framework but it's actually just underneath as you can see, but I, I just like the idea of uh, seeing some of the framework through the wing because obviously it's been ripped open. Um, we've got some metal armor on the side because again these are things were just made out of fabric and wood so obviously the pilot kind of wants some protection so he's got some armor that is probably mounted to uh, the wooden frame. I suspect if this took a good enough hit the whole armor would just fall off. We've also got one on this side as well. The pilot is a Mad Cars or Green Miniatures movie set 2. These are all characters from Mad Max 2. This is the Gyro Captain and I've painted him up as such. Again you'll probably see a better image of him in the slideshow at the end. But I've tried to keep him as close to looking like the Gyro Captain from Mad Max 2. Um, the tail gunner was kind of inspired from... Um, Indiana Jones Last Crusade if you've not seen that film um, Indiana Jones father his character is played by Sean Connery um, they are escaping a zeppelin but being chased by a German fighter airplane and Indiana Jones pilots the plane with um, Indy's father jumping in the back on the I think it's a Brennan gun he has on the back of this plane but anyway he gets on the gun at the rear and just in an attempt to shoot down the plane that's attacking them ends up shooting up the tail section of their own plane um, and I thought it was quite funny and I thought I'd add the same effect to this with the idea being this being an R or turret it would just shoot anything it can and would, wouldn't really care about what it's shooting through such as its own rear tail section and I think the idea would be that there'd probably be some kind of setup so it wouldn't turn all the way around and shoot the pilot but other than that it would just be allowed to shoot wherever it wanted to um, the idea is this thing is actually movable so I can animate it shooting from side to side when I want to animate it. Also I have fixed the propeller so the propeller can move now. Sorry if the camera's deciding it doesn't want to focus now. Oh really? Yeah it's camera's a bit weird at times. But yeah I can animate the uh, propeller moving. Obviously we've got the awesome Running gear, very hot rod inspired. Um, we've got the thrust at the back, and it's just got a nice wash. Um, I was a little hesitant about putting these decals on, just because I'm not that good at applying decals, but I just felt it give it the look. Um, the original Wacky Races Red Baron doesn't actually have the German cross on, um, and I'm pretty sure this is nowhere near the right markings for the official Red Baron. 
Um, I know it's just a German cross, pretty much the same as the, I'm not even too sure what the British equivalent is. I know we have that dot, but I can't remember if there's an actual name for it because I'm I'm not uh, I'm not a big plane builder, so I don't know if there's a proper name for that. But yeah, I was a little hesitant about putting these on because one, it's getting them right, and two, it's stopping them from flaking up. Um, they may flake up later on down the line, and I may have to remove them, but I guess we'll find out. That's pretty much it for this, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, stick around for the slideshow, you'll get some better images of this, and I'll see you in the next one.